back again. Uh, I stitched that one. It's all stitched. Uh, I'm going to put a piece of leather on top of the stitching. Um, what I've done is then I've pre-glued uh, the second part of the loop. And I, like I said, I pre-drilled it. Now it's glued. And what I'll do is once, once it's dry, um, in a little while, I'll then go and uh, put a piece of wood in between here. And then I'll drill out these holes and then I'll sew this. And again, another piece of leather, a very thin piece, will go on top of that. This whole area will protect the knife from uh, cutting the, uh, the stitching. So, basically, uh, I like this to dry a little longer. So, uh, this is part 12. It's going to be a very short part. And as you can see, it's really coming along. Um, again, I'll, when it's all finished, I'll, before I stitch this, I'll give this another coat of, uh, of the stain. And then I'll let it dry. I have to um, bevel these edges. And then once this is all glued, all this gets beveled and then varnished. And then I use a, uh, a dark coat called edge coat and it's more it's a little thicker than it, it doesn't stain it it literally uh, almost it's like a paint and it really it's shiny and it kind of protects so and uh, okay so I'll <clears throat> I won't show you the drilling because uh, this has got to sit for a while a few more minutes actually I will show you how I do it Pan over to here, and I'll show you how I do it. I have a drill bit already on. I take a piece of wood, put it inside. So I take the tools and just pop this down again, and then I start to stitch it. I am going to let it dry a little longer though, so I'm going to turn off the video, sew this, and then we'll go to the next step. <laughs> 